I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit on the couch. It was difficult to breathe without being in pain. And then I had the cryoablation. And I would say that about 24 hours post-procedure, I was able to walk through the airport to catch my flight home without pain. And it was amazing. Hi there, my name is Esther Melvin. I'm a wife, a mother to four kids. I'm an x-ray tech by trade, and currently I work as a clinical specialist. I have stage four metastatic breast cancer. So my job as a clinical specialist opened me up to the world of interventional oncology. Um, I was able to learn about many different types of therapies and different types of treatments to treat cancer that didn't involve chemo. Before, before this, I thought chemo was the, I guess, gold standard for treating cancer. That was the only thing that was available. Um, but I was able to find out that there are different types of treatments, including one called cryoablation. I think that we need to make sure that all patients understand and have all of the options so that we can try everything. In late October, I felt um, some pretty severe pain in my upper back. I thought maybe it was a pulled muscle. Um, my oncologist prescribed me a muscle relaxer that didn't do anything for it. So she ordered a couple of tests and gave me oxycodone. The oxy did help take away the pain, um, but we wanted to get to the root of the pain because taking oxy long-term was just not an option. The pain really intensified after Thanksgiving. Um, it made it so that it was difficult for me to do everyday activities without being in debilitating pain. A week after my cryoablation, I was able to complete the 5K, 10K, half marathon and full marathon for the Dopey Challenge at Walt Disney World. After the 5K, I felt pretty good. I thought, this is possible. That was easy. And then after the 10K, that was a little bit more difficult, but not so bad. After the half, I thought, wow, I'm actually going to do this. Uh, but then came the full marathon. I've done three days of running before this. There's a lot of miles to go. Um, but as I ran up Main Street and I saw the castle and I saw my family, I was bawling like a baby, but I thought I have to finish this. I have to do this for me. I crossed the finish line biting the ear off of the Mickey with a smile on my face and tears streaming down my eyes. But I finished and it was amazing. And I have cryoablation really to thank for that.